Ladies, Leon Trasky bring some more Bristol Rovers career mode. Unfortunately, still, we cannot get Ibanese. I want this guy. His stats aren't amazing. He's big and tall and fast and can bury the ball. That's kind of why I want him. I've had him in previous career modes, and he just he can get it done, but they're just asking too much, and I keep trying to trade him and offering different players and all sorts of different stuff. I mean, he is 19 years old. He doesn't have a ton of potential. The hope is that I can play him for a couple seasons, maybe get him up to 500,000 pounds, maybe even a million pounds, and then sell him again. That's the option here. You know, maybe in a few seasons, I think I could see him being potentially good for, you know, in the, the next league, possibly, if I don't draft any good strikers. I do even offer uh, L.A. Richards here. 325,000 pounds this guy's worth. They're only asking 315,000. Apparently, they're not interested in the guy. And the transfer deadline window is coming up soon, so I need to get my stuff figured out. And we'll see, I guess. We'll see. They end up asking way too much. They don't want Richards. They don't want this. and They don't know what they're talking about. I'm not about to pay 325000 for this guy. I don't have that much, but although I do really want him, it would allow a lot more depth at striker, even though I already picked up Tim Payne as a free agent. Uh, it's nice to have a good striker that's already worth some coins, but we'll see. We offer that uh, that offer there for Richards. We've got a game here. Capital One Cup against Chesterfield. We'll see how this goes. We're stopping starting Tim Payne and Andy Ensa at but the, the top. Stozier at center attacking mid. Azagori and Elliot Richards at left and right, right midfield respectively. Uh, King, blah, 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 Emir Khan and Lund are playing center defensive mid. Rekic, Parkis, and Kenneth at center back. So pretty standard lineup. Probably my better lineup here. And sometimes you got to do that in the Capital One Cup game. And I know I'm playing against a team that's better than me. And so I've got to get as much skill as I can on the pitch. Capital One Cup games, Cup games in these when you're in these lower leagues are very tough, especially when you get into the the later divisions. Uh, the Cup games, it seems like the computer just steps up its difficulty. I am obviously playing on world class, but sometimes it feels like it jumps up to legendary uh, against these higher division teams on the Cup games, especially as you get into the semifinals and finals. Man, the, it gets tough. It gets tough. Any answer there, five goals in all competitions. Getting it done, getting it done. So... We'll see. Apparently, his Central Coast didn't want him here. But, you know, we, we start off here in the ninth minute, and there were chances. There were a few chances. But when you can't get it done in the beginning, sometimes you're going to have a hard time throughout the game. We go into halftime, nil-nil. And they had their chances, too, back and forth, back and forth. And, I mean, here's an example. One of their chances here, 70th minute here. Nice little break from them. They're pushing it up on the wing. They get a little cross into this guy, and he takes a funny touch on it. And he just misses it wide my heartbeat just skipped a second there i really thought that might have been done we do bring on substitutions here substitutions are kind of weird because i am obviously taking off more skilled players to put on lesser skilled players i bring off one of my center defensive mid i think i take off amir khan i uh, put brogheimer back on at center attacking mid who's got some decent ability and then i obviously might probably one of my better players as uh, i take him off and put on dim carroll uh my black ronaldinho only 16 years old. The guy's got some abilities, but I'm obviously giving up some skill. But it's nice because I do get that energy boost, which can be very effective in this game. So making a triple substitution there in the 70th minute here. And we actually get another chance or two. And they get actually get a chance or two back. And it was close. And you gotta make you gotta take advantage of any chances you get, especially on higher difficulties, especially against playing against higher level teams than you. When you know the team's better, you gotta play possession. You gotta take your chances and you gotta capitalize. And we step here with Payne and he just off the post and it just bounces right to my guy but he's off sides it was so close so close only off by a step when he took the shot drills it right off the woodwork and just bounces right back to my guy who could have buried it if he wasn't offside and it actually ends nil nil after 120 minutes going to the penalty kick shootout always tough i hate penalty kick shootouts especially against a computer even almost even more so i'd rather do it against a person because at least a person you know they're doing cheeky stuff you know they're messing around probably going center half the time but we speed this up here because it's not super exciting i block i believe their first one there i make my first one so we're up one or the, no i miss my first one and we're losing now one 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 they're up two one here Trying to tie it back up. 2-2. Two, two. Thank God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. With the save. Tied it 2-2. Two, two. Let's take the lead here. 3-2. You know how we do. Oh, 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 oh. 4, 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three, three, three. All right. Tied it up. Tied it up. 4-3. Okay. Okay. Taking the lead back. Let's get a, let's get a save. No. Oh, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Let's see if we can bury one. Take the lead back. 5-4. One more chance here. And for the save, can he do it? Oh yeah, Walker with the saves, sending us on in the Capital One Cup. 
congratulations that you know it, it, it's tough with the, the scripting and all the the weird stuff that goes on in this game but when you win a penalty shootout regardless of whatever difficulty you you win a cup game against a team that you know is better than you it still feels it still feels good it still feels good and uh transfer deadline day goes on here and it ends without me picking up Ibanese because they were just asking too much money so uh, it is what it is. It's just kind of how it's going to go in this team sometimes. And we're just moving on to our next game here. We do have another league game coming up. We do have, however, have a scouting update, which is always nice. Uh, nobody's super good. A couple decent players. I'm going to leave them and scout them for a few more months. I got this guy here that's uh, only 15 years old, but he does have the potential of 70 to 92, which is a good start there. So we also have a squad report here. People are picking up some points, getting a little bit better. Obviously, it's the people that I'm playing with. I got one point here, one point here, one point here. It's pretty much one point down the board with at least the people that I'm getting the majority of time with. Um, I think a big impact that uh, has to do with how the people are doing sometimes is the form and the morale, how much time they're playing. Are they coming off as substitutes? Are they starting? Different stuff like that obviously may, plays into a big impact. And it seems that that squad report updates at least how many points they're getting. At least uh, it seems about once every month. At the beginning or end of every month, it seems that it does update. Look at that. Elliot Richards with plus three points there. Like a boss. Gonna done. He is getting a lot of time at different positions. Right midfield and striker and center attacking mid. So you can't play him. Tim Carroll already up plus one. Uh, Brogheimer is going to get up there soon. Up, to, up above 60. I want all my players really at this point point of the game i want them 60 and above and then you know eventually i want them 65 and above once i get to the next league i'm a league uh, if i can you know obviously get promoted i'm hoping to get to 70 and above players but you just kind of kind of build up get rid of players that aren't progressing get rid of players you're not playing as the transfer windows come up but <coughs> excuse me uh this is also my transfer negotiating successful negotiations you can see who joined my club who departed my club i did trade a few players sold them for you know cheap cheap 100,000 there 30,000 here 40,000 there uh joined a few players obviously you guys saw most of these guys I got Tim Payne off of uh, free agents a lot of the people that I did join the club were however were uh loan players a lot of the the other people that I see there uh free agent there as actually as a gory big pickup there he's going to be worth some coins uh Emir Khan and Rekic as well as Stozier were all the loan players there so nice little transfer stuff getting done I have a little bit of extra transfer budget here um, after the transfer window. So I figured, you know what, uh, 39,000 pounds, I might as well throw another scout out there, see if he picks up me up. Somebody that I can play, somebody that's 16, somebody that's got some skills, somebody that's got some... I mean, I got Tim Carroll. He's not <clears throat> he's not amazing, but he's going to be starting on my team in a, in a few games when I need people. So it, 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 it does the job. All right, we got our next league game coming up here against the Dagen Red, the Dagenheim. And uh, <clears throat> pretty standard lineup here. We got Richards, we're starting up at Stryker, Stoger... And uh, I think it was Azagoria and the midfielders there. And this is a pretty good game, I will admit. I came off that uh, that penalty shootout win, and I'm like, you know what? I want to put some freaking goals in the back of the net. I felt very confident as how my team has been playing, and we get started off good right off the kickoff here. Try to get a couple little through balls going, slow it down as we start approaching the attacking attacking part of the field. Azagori passes it in. Stozier on his strong left foot just buries it. And Stozier, like, he's got a decent weak foot. I think it's three-star weak foot, but left foot is just a beast, even though he can bury it with the right. I have a hard time sometimes with left-footed players. I really like right-footed players. I find that my my flow of play develops more to right-footed players, but when you can bury somebody, the, the ball with a left-footed player, and you're like, oh, wait, that guy's actually left-footed, and he just buries it with the correct foot. It's like, man, that feels good. But we start off early there, one nothing. We come back here, 22nd minute. Start moving it up the right hand side with uh, Richards on the right or striker. And I got my right midfielder Stozier once again, just doing a little bit of work. Does does give up the ball? Nice little passing movement. And uh, eventually, I think I believe I work this back to Stozier there. Or no, Azagori takes a nice little shot, stays low. Weird bounce off the goalkeeper, pops up right to Stozier, buries in the back of his net, uh, back of the net with a header. Always a little nice, you know, just being in the right place at the right time. That what that is. It, people are like, oh, that's a bad FIFA bounce. Like if it happened online to you, oh, so you know what that is? It's it's a player having good attacking vision, having good attacking knowledge of where to be in the right spot in the right time here. And pretty much just right after the kickoff, there we steal the ball back. <clears throat> And just kind of try and work it back down the field. And uh, this team just 
was not very good. Uh, it, my team was just in form, was just had a high morale, just came off that tough game against uh, Chesterfield, which we pulled out that win in the even in the free kick or penalty kicks. When you pull out a win in the penalty kicks, it just it feels good. It gives you some momentum. But Clarkson here trying to work it around, still back out on the left midfield with Azagori. Step inside to Mir Khan. Mir Khan just gets a little bit of space, gets inside the defender, and just buries it far post. That was a nice shot. That shot really opened my eyes to how good this Amir Khan guy acts is actually going to be he's big he's strong he can defend the ball and he's actually got some <clears throat> some shot power which is nice because when teams have when players have shot power it means that they can pretty much finish the ball from from some distance which is always nice coming into halftime here i'm like three nothing up man i'll go into halftime three nothing up no big deal but might as well work the ball a little bit more stozier dumps it off to here to annie and say bounces it out and stozier just there to pick it up and bury it again for nothing for nothing at halftime Oh my God, what happened? I need to move up in the leagues. Chesterfield, you got me prepped for anything else in this end power league one. And we do, we go in for nothing at halftime there with some beautiful, just beautiful work. Just we're picking up the loose balls, uh, just being in the right spot at the right time. And that's really sometimes what it comes down to. We do make some subs here. I will probably get Carol on, probably change up one of my strikers and one of my defensive mids. Pretty much my same subs most of the time. Um, Pretty simple stuff. It's because those are the players that I want to get experience. Those are the players that I want to get on the pitch, that I want to get some touch to, some time to, because I want them to develop and get better. And that's really how you got it when you play career mode. That's how you got to think about substitutions. And you can't forget to make substitutions because if you forget substitutions, the next game or like two games later, all your players are going to be exhausted. So substitutions are humongous in this game. It's something that you have to pay attention to. And that's why something stamina in career mode is very important, whether or not players have good stamina, whether or not they can last you. An entire game plays a huge role in this game you know if they're going to have a nice stamina for the next game coming up is always important here and you know it's 75th minute i thought i was controlling this game pretty well but i'm up 4-0 they get a great lob through ball there over the top and they end up just working one in i think it you know be my defender there on the outside poor defense nice little cross buries it short post goalkeeper even got a touch on it but he couldn't do it episodes wind down to an end here i hope you guys enjoy this uh four win got some goals for you a lot more league games coming up soon probably some more cup games pretty much got my team set here we're going to start building through uh getting through these season games getting through the games here getting the points under our belts and really just building up trying to find anything that i might need to get done before the january transfer window let me know if you guys got any tips for transfers that you think i should fill in my team with but it's always important also you know a few cup games try and win a few cup games few league games and i will catch you soon with some more fifa bristol rovers career mode you know how we do guys till next time